and these are the leftover beans. That's where I just took the, I actually took 89 out of them out and put them in this pint. At 80, they swell up and they don't quite fill it up, so we're going to see if 89 of them will swell it up. That's a summation series number, that's why I chose it. <laughs> Nothing special about it other than a summation series number. There's probably enough here for another two meals or so. Okay. And here are the beans. We're going to start our three day ferment after they have absorbed water for about a day, swelled up. Just added a pinch of salt, I'd say like a half a teaspoon into this half pint. And then we're going to put this cover on. This cover has a little rubber membrane on the inside of it, so it helps to seal it. When there's pressure, um, it pretty much holds it all in, but at the very end of the process, some of the water begins to work its way through that membrane. That's the start. This is day two of our dry bean ferment. You can kind of see some action is happening there in the bubbles. So now I want to shake it vigorously. Vigorously. Get that all shaken up. And I'm going to put it upside down. See the bubbles in there now? So the beans that were on the top maybe weren't totally immersed in the juices. By flipping it over, now it is. So then the next day, tomorrow, I'll flip it back. One day action. Here's my breakfast for this morning. That is a white fish tail. I'm be adding onions, a couple of eggs. This is how I make coffee. Since the burner's hot, that's the time to make my breakfast as well. But once it starts to make uh, noises like this, it's hot enough for coffee. I turn this down halfway or less. breakfast on. And the coffee gets put into a thermos, or the water. I don't have to use it. Here's my coffee. I drink instant. Oops. to stratify some acorns and hazelnuts. Okay, that's a wrap. And here we are entering our third day of ferment. See there's nice action going on in there. shake. So tomorrow morning it's pretty much ready. But um, I got other things I'm going to eat so I'll let it go a couple more days. It looks pretty nice. That whole half pint is full. With 89 seeds. That's how big they are. fairly large bean seeds. I don't grow a lot of beans so I don't know how to prepare them. Okay. And here we are on what could be the final day. I've done it three days and I've done it five days and it seems to be about the same result. See all that action going on in there. Let's get her out right here. Huh? Look at that. Okay, we're going to put it in the sink. Open her up, we'll see if there's a sound for pressure. There was pressure in it. Look at that, look at that.
That's one heck of a nice ferment right there. It's got these beans ready to go. Alright, so this is what I'm doing now. Some people might think you got an off smell with this stuff. So, uh, you just drain it out that way. Smells like fermented beans. I mean, Increases the number of nutrients. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is pour them on the stove here. And I'm going to cut them in half. So when I'm done, I'll show you that. So I think the skins have a metallic taste to them, and I don't like it, and they slip off really easy right after you cut them in half. That's how far I am right now. This I'm going to boil for couple of uh, sessions. What I do is I boil it for a couple minutes and then I take the water out and boil it again. And I'll fry it up in olive oil. Now, this is my coffee water. I'll just leave uh, a pretty small amount on the bottom and get these things boiled. And you can see all the ferment is boiling off. Okay, one more time. Alright, that is a pile of bean skins right there. And here is the meat. I'm gonna boil them up. I'm gonna do an experiment and boil them longer here than I have them done. And then here are beans frying up in olive oil with a white fish liver and a belly strip. I'll be adding a couple eggs with that and having it for breakfast. Alright, thanks for watching. And you might be interested to see, I chopped up the whitefish and the liver very finely, made kind of a hash along with the beans. Beans are these nice golden brown morsels here. And then the whitefish is mixed up in here with the little pieces of liver. And I actually cracked two eggs right over the top of it all. Now the mixture is incorporated right into the eggs. Flip it over once. And now, we are looking at breakfast. Probably nobody in the whole world is eating that kind of a breakfast this morning. And here are the rest of the beans, the ones that I am not eating for breakfast, and I'm going to boil them a little longer than I have been. I've been boiling for maybe two or three minutes. I've been boiling them twice that way. But this time I'm going to let it go for ten minutes or so. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, turn the bean into a mash where I can mash it down and we'll see how it echoes I'll let you know we're at eight minutes now look at that it's nice and frothy okay I like that let's get in the light here look at that yeah it seems like they're puffing up even more take one on here and see how soft it is It's hot. Oh yeah, see it? Oh, they did that really nice. That's what I'm looking for. I don't need to boil them anymore. Okay. Eight minutes. Yeah, very beany.
Okay, we'll just let that calm down. Turn off the burner, and we'll do another experiment, see how it goes.